Um, but uh, it's funny because when somebody will come up and say, like, hey, are you in the, the Vampire Diaries? We're like, yeah, nice to meet you. And they walk off and my wife is like holding a baby just staring at me. And I'm like, what? I'm famous. I told you I'm famous. <laughs> She's like, you're not famous. <laughs> do, do, does Fiona do, do that? Does Zach's beautiful daughter? Does uh, yeah, I mean, like, she goes to an all-girls school, and it's like going to a fan convention, honestly. Like, we had a thing on the quad at the school, and she's like, Dad, some of the girls want to take photos with you. Is that fine? Like, yeah, it's going to be 10 bucks a pop. You can give it to my daughter on Monday. I'm like, I'm giving you a discount, by the way. Uh, it's very good. Anyway, like, she won't watch it. She doesn't think it's that big a deal because to her, these are like her uncles and stuff like that. But it is, she's aware that she's on the internet. She's on all the same things that the other kids are. So uh, I think now she just is grasping how surreal that is. Like, her friends go nuts. Like, I'll FaceTime her to sleep over. And she's like, Dad, I know this is so annoying, but will you FaceTime M's sister? And I'm like, ah, I mean, I'll say hi for a quick sec, baby. Yeah. But. It's just nuts. It is nuts because my daughter was a baby, you know, on the set. And so there are girls her age and, like, their sisters that are huge fans. And they were, like, in their diapers when the show started. So, I don't know. I never thought I'd be sitting on a stage, especially in Legion Field, this far after the show. Uh, I didn't realize the impact it was going to have. So, yeah. I don't know. Thank you, guys. We love you. I love you, too. What else? <laughs> so, I've been asking people like how it feels to be back here, um, but for Zach and Matt, like you guys live in Atlanta, so it's kind of not a great question. But how's it feeling being back here, kind of with everyone, and especially like I, I know this is this was base camp, so it's probably even more surreal. Yeah, no, I think everyone's like kind of checking in with each other. Like, how does this? How you? What do you think? How does this feel? I think there's. there's it's great to see everybody. Like, we've not all been together like this in quite some time, and this did uh, used to be our base camp. And there's all kinds of nostalgia that everyone's like remembering and reconnecting because everyone's kind of gone in these different directions. And it's always, you know, a pleasure when we kind of, you know, meet each other again and to have all of us together right now. I think is uh, it's it's really been great and healing and you know I don't know is that fair? I think so. I think it's very fair. Uh, you know that's why I was saying. Just being back here this far after, we've done a lot of fan conventions, I mean, all over the world with each other, but, you know, walking through there, taking the photos in there, like, we ate many meals in that building uh, when the roof was leaking type situation, the trailers parked everywhere. I, I just, from, I have specific information, or, like, the memories, like, when I walk across this parking lot, it kind of hits me, like, oh, God, oh. So, yeah, I don't know. It is, it is surreal. I do live in Atlanta still, but it's not like I, I just roll through Covington on the regular, um, so, yeah. Yeah, being at the square last night was really interesting. Just, I think it was at night, I couldn't, we weren't able to walk around, but from that rooftop of the, uh, the Mystic Grill there, it's pretty neat seeing everybody outside and, and thinking about that square that, now I've seen, you know, there's other shows that have shot in and around Covington and there, but like, we were for sure the first, and to see, uh, see that pop out on my TV screen every now and then is a little funny. Um, but it just brings you back, yeah, because it's been many years, but thinking about how young we were and uh, working and being, you know, trailers setting up in here, working in Covington, running over to Scoops any moment I can get to get some ice cream. Uh, it's pretty fun times. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I haven't had any Scoops yet. I'm uh, no. bound and determined before I leave to get some. This guy, by the way, um, back in the early days, before many of you guys knew that we were filming on the square, so we could just like run around unpatrolled. You know, they'd be like, "All right, be back in 15." We'd run into scoops. Chirino buy like $200 worth of stuff. I'm not kidding. And not, not not as gifts, mind you, for himself. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It's true. I got sweet tooth. Not for like everything. It's just like dark chocolate. <laughs> some chocolate that I gotta get. Well, because they had dark chocolate covered pretzels. Give it. Give it. <laughs> Oreos. Send it. Um, you know, just and it's good. And I just wipe them out because like we would, we would at the time that we'd shoot out here maybe every other week, if that. So it wasn't all the time. So I knew when I was out here, it's time to stock up. Yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs>